A new perspective on overactive bladder, or OAB. Brought to you by Astellas. Symptoms of OAB typically involve sensations of urgency, with or without incontinence, usually accompanied by frequency and nocturia, in the absence of any other underlying pathology. Associated with these symptoms are involuntary contractions of the detrusor muscle, which occur during the urine storage phase of micturition. In many cases, these contractions are non-voiding and do not lead to incontinence. Thanks to decades of research into bladder storage dysfunction, a new theory on OAB management is emerging. This innovative theory focuses on one key function in the bladder, relaxation of the detrusor muscle. The detrusor muscle plays an important role in regulating bladder relaxation and contraction, both of which are driven by autonomic signaling. Throughout the urine storage phase, which accounts for the majority of the micturition cycle, the bladder is relaxed. The bladder is under both parasympathetic and sympathetic control. In the storage phase, which is mediated by the sympathetic nervous system, relaxation and stretching of the detrusor muscle maintain low internal pressure while the bladder neck and urethra are contracted to prevent leakage of urine. Voiding of urine occurs when the bladder is in the contraction phase, as mediated by the parasympathetic nervous system. In order for the bladder to empty, contraction of the detrusor muscle through M3 muscarinic signaling must occur. This reflex is triggered by the binding of acetylcholine to M3 muscarinic receptors on the surface of the detrusor smooth muscle. In the overactive bladder, the detrusor muscle may involuntarily contract during the storage phase, sometimes resulting in incontinence. One current approach to the treatment of OAB is the use of antimuscarinics, for example, solifenacin whose mechanism involves blocking the muscarinic 3 receptors, or M3 receptors, leading to inhibition of involuntary detrusor contractions. Complicating this approach, however, is the near-ubiquitous expression of M3 receptors throughout the body, notably in the salivary glands, colon, and ciliary smooth muscles of the eyes. For a proportion of patients, use of antimuscarinics can lead to bothersome adverse events like dry mouth, constipation, and blurred vision. In addition, some patients fail to respond to antimuscarinics. Focusing on sympathetic bladder control, recent research has revealed one receptor to be the key modulator of detrusor muscle relaxation, the beta-3 adrenergic receptor, or beta-3-AR. The beta-ARs belong to a family of G-protein-coupled receptors that are involved with cellular signaling throughout the body. There are three subtypes of beta-AR whose messenger RNA has been detected across a wide range of tissues in humans. Beta-3-ARs are highly expressed in the human bladder, where beta-3 accounts for over 95% of the total beta-AR messenger RNA. While present elsewhere in the body, beta-3-AR expression has not been found in the salivary glands or ciliary smooth muscles of the eyes. In the bladder, beta-3-AR messenger RNA expression has been found in the detrusor muscle as well as in the urethelium. It has been shown that detrusor relaxation is mediated by beta-3-AR activation. This reflex commences when noradrenaline is released from sympathetic neurons that innervate the bladder and lower urinary tract. Binding of noradrenaline to the beta-3-AR on the surface of the detrusor muscle signals the muscle to relax. This action also determines the interval between successive voidings. Recent research on this natural pathway of bladder relaxation reveals that it is possible to relax the bladder without affecting the magnitude of the voiding reflex or muscle contractility. Furthermore, such signaling may prolong the duration of the storage phase. Mira Begron, a beta-3 adrenoceptor agonist developed for the treatment of OAB, can selectively enhance urine storage by targeting the natural pathway of bladder relaxation. Theoretically, Mirabegron has the potential to address the unmet need in OAB patients. This video has been brought to you by Astellas.